Hey, what's up guys, Kadachi here and welcome back to the channel. It's been about three months since my last upload. I've had a lot of negative personal things going on in life, so I've just been trying to get it all together. But through all of that, I found Armor Core, which is probably one of, if not the funnest games I've played in a long time. Before this game dropped though, I went back and I played AC4 because a friend had suggested AC6 to me. The only mech game I had ever played up until this point was Transformers Fall of Cybertron on the Xbox 360. And that's just Transformers, so I had simply been missing out. But I've been getting into AC6 PvP a lot lately, I heavily enjoy it, and I'm ready to bring some nice build ideas to the play that aren't just double Gatling Gun or double Zimmerman. So with that being said, let's get into the video. So for starters, this is my AC, V1 Spark Plug. This build is all about double stun gun anomaly buildup. It can handle most builds in a 1v1 setting if you play the matchup correctly, and it can fare very well in 3v3s for cleanups. I've used every anomaly buildup weapon, that being the stun launcher and the stun baton. Both are really fun, just not the playstyle needed for this build. I heavily enjoy the stun needle launcher though. It's like a sniper, so it helps for many tanky engagements while building up anomaly. For the left shoulder, I like to use the bullet orbit for a constant DPS so the stagger bar is never dropping while I'm pursuing my enemy. I enjoy using this helmet for the high system recovery, it allows me to recover from being stunned much faster. While this chest part may have very low deep end stats, it works very well for a speed AC. It comes with very high booster efficiency which allows you to boost and consume less EN and high generator supply which allows your EN to recover faster after use. I chose these arms because they have a good balance of recoil control and firearm specialization. You can definitely mix it up if you would like more recoil control over firearm specialization, it's really up to you but I prefer more recoil control. You do not have to run this exact booster. I run it for better side maneuvers and better upward thrust so I can jump off of the ground more often to say dodge a rocket. Boosters also affect your melee range, not for melee weapons, but only actual melees. I chose this FCS because I like to be in close range, but not at all times. In case I'm fighting a shotgun or double gatlings, this definitely helps. Finally, we went with the Coral Generator. This comes with max EN output, which will recover your EN incredibly fast, and max capacity for more moves that require EN. But don't think these Coral Generators are make or break, it's really just for the build. For the expansion, you can honestly run whatever fits your playstyle. I personally enjoy Primal Armor just for its defenses. And honestly, that's it guys, this is V1 Spark Plug, pretty fun build, I hope some of you try it out, if you do enjoy it, some feedback would be greatly appreciated in the comments, now that you've seen the build, let's see it in action. What were you thinking Tell me to change my game? I wasn't going anywhere. It was kaput. Don't you see what I've done with this place? This whole thing? Don't you see that I've changed the game? No, I am the game. Before I knew where this was going, I would listen to you. Right now, I distance myself from whatever you have to say. I made this something way bigger than you were ever going to be. I made it this far, and I'm taking it to the top. I came out from the bottom and into the top.
the score of a fight.